Hey guys, so this is a little bit of a different video. We're actually kind of doing a overnight hiking trip at Nathan Bedford State Park. We're doing it with our two oldest. We're doing a 10 mile one night overnight hike. We'll hike about five miles in and then not, and you can see their teaching moment back there. But I'm gonna attempt to kind of put together like a little vlogging video. So sorry, this is the best camera I have and we'll just go from there. So far we're been doing it for about, I don't even know how long we've been walking, but not far. But it's a beautiful day and we're gonna have some fun. Just having time as a family and teaching some math skills and geography skills. And yeah, just having a good time. Which direction are we walking? West. West. Yep. All right, so if we're here, and mm -hmm. which trail do we need to follow? This one. Is that west or east or north or south of the map? We have to try on the map, is it are you walking west, east, north, or south on the map? On the map, west. west. So your compass map is west. So what's it tell you? Mm. The compass is right. Compass is right, and you're walking right there. Okay. The other cool thing is that we just come, we just finished walking on a hill, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, there's your ridge line. See how the see how the topo lines? They're they're really close together. It's mm. really steep, and they stop. So all the way here is flat ground. So this is higher ground. It's 500. Yeesh. Okay, 500 feet by sea level. Right? Yeesh. These are flat. This is flat area here. Mm -hmm. So now we're on a flat path. So you know your direction's west. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your compass tells you you're west. Your map tells you you're west. Your topo line tells you you're on a flat piece of ground. Topo lines. These, these brown lines on that tells you you're going west. Great. I meant dead. What? So when we come around all this, then are we going to head east? So yeah, so eventually we'll head north a little bit and then we'll head east. Go back up. Now, this also tells you that we might might hit, might hit a little bit of like some high some, some higher ground as you can see the topo lines you cross here. Yeah. But for the most part, we right, flat. So so far we've done about four three and a half four miles maybe something like that. Still got a couple hours ago, but pretty much almost done for the night. And then we'll do a video. We're at another little shelter here. I'm gonna try to turn. So we've around. made it to our campsite for the night. We've done roughly five miles. You can see, we walked up that really steep hill, but done roughly five miles. So time to set up camp. Good morning guys. It is day two and the boys did really well yesterday. I really didn't do a video once we got back, once we actually got to camp for the night because we was just focused on getting the tent set up, getting the campsite set up, and just getting the fire started and just being together as a family. And the night went pretty well. We all managed to get a pretty good amount of sleep. It did get down into the mid to low 40s last night so it was a little chilly but not too bad um i guess we woke up about six o'clock this morning and started moving and getting getting ready to pack up the camp and head out for the rest of our hike so for the rest of our trip so i'll catch back up with you Good morning. Did y'all have fun? Mm -hmm. Not bad, actually. Mm. Yeah, come on down here. I want to try too. And what's that? The live straw? The live straw. Yeah. Oh, block. 